overnight, campus protests escalating. Demonstrators occupying a building at Columbia University, smashing windows, barring the doors, and unfurling banners, including one reading Intifada. After protesters circled the campus earlier in the night, the unrest coming just hours after the university started suspending students who refused to leave an encampment after a deadline had passed. These repulsive scare tactics mean nothing compared to the deaths of over 34,000 Palestinians. Some faculty also on site linking arms in front of the demonstrators. A growing number of universities are cracking down on pro-Palestinian protests spreading across college campuses. Overnight, at Virginia Commonwealth University in Richmond, clashes between police and protesters on campus leading to arrests. And at UCLA in the early hours of the morning, authorities in tactical gear moving in during confrontations between dueling demonstrators. Earlier in the day, the students storming through a building and waving the Palestinian flag. Some Jewish students frustrated. I have wholeheartedly always supported the right to like freedom of protest and the freedom of speech. But when that starts to impede upon like our right to education, be able to like freely walk on campus, that's where I have an issue. State troopers also in right here at the University of Texas Austin, detaining demonstrators. Even carrying this person out by their hands, and at one point, students surrounding police who say they use pepper spray to disperse the crowd. The university says it believes a majority of the protesters are not affiliated with the school. And as the protests continue to spread, the University of Florida taking a firm stance this morning. In a statement following arrests, the school saying the University of Florida is not a daycare and we do not treat protesters like children. They knew the rules, they broke the rules, and they'll face the consequences. As schools across the country struggle to deal with protests overtaking campuses. And back here at Columbia, the university telling students and faculty that access to other buildings here on campus may be restricted today. And while negotiations, excuse me, here for the moment between organizers and students may have failed, over at Northwestern and Illinois, university officials and their organizers are saying they've come to some agreement. And some of those conclusions include limiting the scope of the protest in exchange for more funding for Palestinian students and their faculty, as well as additional transparency over specific investments. Oda? All right, George Solis for us there at Columbia. George, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.